Hey, welcome back. So this is gonna be kind of a quick video, kind of pinpointing uh, troubleshooting and then also, I guess, SOP for Nissans and Infinities to avoid any sort of issues. Um, so this is gonna be a push start. It's a push start. We're not focused on the proc slot, so don't worry about that. Areas of interest we wanna look at are the keys, the push start button, the mobilizer light, we wanna find that. Make sure we're plugged in with our programming tool. Doesn't matter if it's a Smart Pro, and this is a Smart Pro for this video, but we're gonna be focusing on the actions of how to do things. So, voltage is good, we're good. Uh, customer's key is kind of damaged. Horn works, but like the lock doesn't work. I could start. Cool, it turns on. But we wanna make sure that the, the vehicle sensor works before we get started. So what we're gonna do is we're going to kind of isolate. I'm gonna put this on my lap here's key two, key one, that's a programming one. So this is the working key. I'm going to turn on, cool, everything works. And then I'm going to disconnect and take the battery out and see if the sensor works. So I have it open. And now I wanna make sure that the mobilizer is able to work with the vehicle. So if I have this here and I put it like maybe in my lap, like it's a dead battery, the brake pedal is gonna say no key detected. Cool. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to press. Press the brake pedal in, press this in like so. I'm not gonna use my finger, I'm not gonna do this. I'm not doing the finger, the saying no key detected. I'm using, like you see here, and another angle. So that's showing that the sensor works. Let's go ahead and proceed and I'll show you another step. So now we're gonna, after we check Make sure the sensor works for the key without the battery. Now we want to program like normal. So let's go ahead and start. Make sure we have key one and key two, or if we had a third one, key three or four. Don't want to mix them up. If you mix them up, it's going to confuse the programming process and waste your time, and it could cause issues. It's off, hazards on. It's connected, identifications, voltage. Cool, let's program. This is where it says use key one, so key one. We can't hit the lock button. We can hit lock over there. Cool, all deleted, continue, yes. Cool. So now what I'm gonna do, sometimes I'll say hold. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press, I'm gonna watch for that orange here. I'm not touching the brake pedal. I let go. Cool. And then I'm turning off. So it's basically going through making sure this key is working. Cool. So now I'm going to take first key logo like so. So let's go ahead and watch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press one, two. I'm gonna look at the dash and it's flashing. Now, if you press in and pull away, it's not gonna sense that immobilizer and it's not gonna program that key. Cool. And we turn it off. So then hit okay. You wanna program more keys? Yes. Now this one, I'm gonna purposely press in and pull away and see if it gives me an error and doesn't connect. So, Let's go ahead and press. Nothing, didn't do anything. I pressed it, that noise, it's rejected. It's not gonna work. Let me try again. One, two. There we go, now it's flashing, cool. So if I don't have it hold there, it's not gonna sense it. Hit okay. And switch off. Cool, you wanna program more keys? No, 
Now I have to use key ones. This is where people make a mistake. If they mix them up, they grab the wrong one. They look pretty similar, just worn. Key one, and now listen, it's not gonna flash. It's gonna make that audible beep noise. So again, one, two. Good. And turn off. Cool, and we're done. And it says on the dash, complete. Let's go ahead and turn off hazards. So let's check. Their key is still broken with those buttons. And then this one. Cool. And we're good. Other than that, have a great day. And I will see you next time. Hopefully this helps um, troubleshoot and problem solve some of those tricky Nissans and Infinities. Thanks, guys. Bye.